Hello, my fellow geeks. I'm Mark, and today on Elite Geek, we're going to talk about 3D printers. It's been a while. It's been a while since we talked about 3D printers. I got rid of all of my resin printers. I'll talk about that another day. Today, we're going to cover one specific topic about the bamboo printers. I've had three issues with the bamboo printers, and they were all related, and there was all one fix. So if any of these issues have been relevant for you, here's what I did that seems to have taken care of it. Issue one. My prints just kept failing. They just stop. Like you can see here, it would just stop and I'd have a full plate full of prints and the printer would just like stop. It would lock up completely. The screen would stop working. It would just sit and kind of ooze material in one place. At least the ducks got far enough that I was able to save them because ducks, they needed hats. They were just like stopped here. So they just needed hats. And of course they had to be fedoras. The second problem I had is I got a second Bamboo A1 with AMS, and on the third print, the memory card just stopped working. Here you can see the error that I got. It just wouldn't go. I tried reformatting that disk. It just, it's no good. Bad disk right out of it. And the third issue might be you just need more room. So how do you add more room? It's, it's actually pretty easy. It took me a little bit to get it working right, but it's pretty easy. First, you need new, better, bigger memory cards. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I bought these PNY memory cards. I bought a three pack from Amazon. There's going to be links for those in the description here if you want to pick up something like that. I got just 64 gigabyte cards. I didn't need a lot more room, but it was like $2 more than 32 gigs. Unfortunately, that caused another problem is these memory cards have to be FAT32. I don't know what that means. It's just how the card is formatted. I expected to stick the card in the printer and say, I don't recognize this card. Do you want me to format this for you? And I'd say yes, and I'd be done. Instead, I stuck it in, I got this error, and it just wasn't recognized and didn't give me any options. Even if I went to the format screen, it still would not offer to format the disk for me. So I had to do it in Windows. So here, now it shows up in Windows. I right click and format it. I have to format it in the right format, except it only gives me the NTFS or the XFAT format options. Neither one of which are valid. I tried them just in case they might work. They don't work. It has to be FAT32. I tried multiple programs in order to do this, and you can do it from a command prompt, supposedly. That was going to take forever. I tried two other programs that wouldn't quick format it. They were also taking forever. So finally, on one of the forums, someone recommended this simple little program, FAT32 format. That's all it takes. Here's the website I got it from. I will link this down below. Full disclaimer, I don't know if this is official. I don't know if this is spyware. I don't think it is. It's pretty light. You don't even have to install it, which I really appreciated. It just runs an executable. None of my software flagged it, so it seemed to be okay. It's a little confusing because there's a link here. So once you go there, I still wanted to show you this because this link doesn't actually take you to it. You have to click the picture. You click the image and it will download the software. Software looks like this. I have my E drive. Well, allocation size, you do have to Label the volume, and you want to keep quick format here. Click start, all data will be lost. Okay, so here's a good error. If you get this error, you need to close your Windows Explorers. It's still open, it's still seeing it. Try it again. And there we go. And it takes like, I don't know, what was that, three seconds? Now we can put the card in. When you put the card in, you go to settings, it'll show a 58 gig whatever it says on the screen when I'm showing the image. Space size, it does use some of it for the overall formatting, and Bamboo requires some overhead space. But it will work for you at that point. It will give you a faster disk, which does not err. Mine hasn't yet, at least after a while I've been using it. There's no corruption, and you've got more space. This will work on up to a 2 terabyte disk. You, the Bamboo, at least the A1, supports up to 2 terabytes and you can format FAT32 to that. So, so hopefully you found this useful. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you ran into any other issues. I know there's some other software that will do this and you're welcome to use that. I just found this and it was super duper fast and easy. Got some other videos coming and some information on um, all the printers in my growing print farm again after it had been a while. But until next time, remember, if you're gonna be a geek, be an elite geek. So now you have a glimpse of me. Think of this as a disclaimer before I claim you mine For you'll find my flaws outweigh my talents any day But if you're alright with that, we should be fine